Today we're going to take a look at 11 or 12 spaces that are absolutely beautiful. These are ones to get inspiration from. They are well designed, they're timeless, and they don't feel try hard. Hi friend, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jorge if you're new. Today we're just gonna kick it here in the home office and get some inspiration. Now I've put together, or not put together, I have found 11 or 12 spaces that I think are absolutely gorgeous, incredible designers. These are ones that will definitely give us some um, inspiration. Sometimes it's nice to kind of take a step back and see what is buzzing around. And these are certainly ones that get me really excited. They give me butterflies. <laughs> so let's just have some fun here and take a look. All right, let's start off with this first one. So this is a New York City apartment by designer Neil Bexket. Bexket, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Which by the way, I'll go ahead and link down all the designers I mentioned here below. Definitely go check out their work, their portfolio, follow them on social media. They do incredible projects. These are just some of the ones that I'm loving. So again, this one is um, by Neil Bexket. Uh, it's featured in Architectural Digest. This New York City apartment, absolutely gorgeous. What drew me in was the use of color. I personally love spaces that are neutral because, well, you can essentially keep them neutral if that's the preferred vibe or add some color. You know, as we move throughout the years or kind of start to have fun with design it's nice to be able to add color as needed and in this case look at the artwork this definitely encompasses all of the colors with the blue the red and maybe the cream I'm not exactly sure of course flowing that red and blue throughout the room with the accent chairs in the books the artwork above the sofa and of course the textiles in the sofa isn't this incredible pay close attention to these sofas so these sofas are at the sun setting these sofas are white. Now I recently got, well not recently, about a couple months ago I got a white sofa. I've never had a white sofa. How do we keep a white sofa looking white? And here's a great example. Here's what I do. I like to use throws. Here this designer is also using throws for the white sofas. Look at how you kind of are, again, working with color. These are easily, you know, could swap them out for a new season or throw them in the washer. But this definitely keeps those sofas looking white. These stools are lovely. You know why I love stools? Especially in like in the living room, you know, family room, you can move them around. They can be, of course, provide extra seating, but also as little like cocktail, um, side tables. Oh, the sun is really blazing in here. It's always a fun time getting inspiration. Lots of incredible designers out there. Now, if you love design, I have something that I want to share with you that I think you're going to love. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I kind of have a passion for home design, like seriously. And I'm in the middle of designing my dream home. That's on Design Empire. And if you haven't heard, Design Empire is a mobile game. It's very fun. I'm low-key addicted to it right now. But with this game, you essentially earn coins. And with those coins, you use them to design, customize, and decorate the perfect dream home with beautiful decor and all those bells and whistles. Of course, like the furniture, the paint colors, literally it's a dream. So what makes Design Empire so special? It's the first game in the world that lets you mix two of the most interesting gameplays, slots and decoration. You can remodel homes with a classic style or go modern, you design, it's your house. And what's great about this game is that if you turn on offline mode, like if you are traveling or maybe you have sketchy internet, you can keep playing. So try it for yourself. Download Design Empire. I'll go ahead and leave the link down in the description box. Seriously, it's really fun. You're gonna love it and you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks again to Design Empire for partnering in today's video. Ooh, this room is making my mouth water. Look at that checkered rug layered on top of those wooden herringbone floors. Artwork is quite divine. I kind of go back and forth in my own space. I sometimes go crazy with the books, but some days I'm like, all right, enough of the crap and I put everything away, so. <laughs> First, we have our subway tile in the kitchen. Subway tile, of course, is timeless. Now, there was a period, maybe a few years ago, where it became very trendy. It comes and goes in trends, but overall, it's a timeless. It's safe. It's safe. And this certainly encompasses that. This kitchen, I don't know how, how long ago it was designed, but you can definitely tell that this kitchen will be relevant in 20 years. The use of the tile series is nice. How to fix the lighting, because the sun is like blasting in here. 
All right, this next piece is by Phoebe Nicole. Photography is by Dave Wheeler. This is a beautiful home. So I'm drawn into the living room here. It feels very cozy. And I think it's the use of the textiles, the sofa, all of that. I think this will definitely be a space for conversation where you wanna just hang out with friends. I don't know about that coffee table. I'm not the biggest fan of an ottoman for a coffee table. It feels like everything's about to fall off if you bump into it. Anyways. Love this. Look at the size of these table lamps. They are massive. And I feel like these are ones that one can DIY if we're looking into that style. Only maybe a little bit of lime wash if you find yourself a thrifted lamp. Maybe I could do a DIY on this. And then just put an empire style lampshade. I've gotten asked before where I've gotten mine in some of my lamps. A lot of times I thrift them or just buy them brand new and then put it onto like a vintage uh, lamp because old lampshades can get a little crusty. Now these sofas are slip covered and you know, I used to work at Pottery Barn. There is the PB Comfort collection. There's also the York collection. Those are two that I definitely recommend if you're looking for kind of like casual slip covered sofas. But if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, you should definitely check out Amazon. So the Amazon brand Stone and Beam, which has really great reviews for the sofas. They have this slip covered modern sofa. It's at the time of this video, just under a thousand dollars and it looks beautiful it comes in the color optic white and storm gray these are definitely ones to keep an eye out I know they sell out fast so look at that oversized artwork isn't that insane if you are looking for really large artwork and don't have a big budget definitely consider getting insulation panels from like Home Depot or Lowe's I actually did a DIY art a couple weeks ago here's a photo of it I mean it's a different style but they sell these panels at a very very large size and what's great about them is you can like start carving into them and create some texture just get like a butter knife from Dollar Tree or something you can paint over them of course but these panels are like a couple of dollars they're not very expensive and you can get some massive artwork Moving on, we have Jet Creative. Jet Creative is a design studio in Southern California. They do incredible work. This space that I really want to focus on is their Stearns residence. So this is kind of like a Spanish style home, as you'll see in the interior and even the architecture. But what I love about this space, of course, like I always say, I love a neutral space, but this does a wonderful job of bringing in some color, more muted, I would say in this case. Look at this sofa in the living room, layering in kind of of um, this muted pillow accents. That fireplace is beyond charming. I love the arch detail. Beautiful beams, of course. One of the features I see in a lot of high-end interiors is the use of white window treatments or window treatments, curtains that are the same color as the walls. In this case, white on white. I think in a way, it still kind of adds a little bit of a layered look, but it still feels minimal in a way. Love that here, we have our accent chair. You know, I come across a lot of sideboards like these on Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes they're not in the best shape, but if you manage to like restore them, maybe put some of that restore um, finish on it or paint it black, that's always a great idea. And I love the way that it's used here. <laughs> Moving into the dining room, mid-century chairs, modern light fixture. I wonder what color the cabinetry is. I think it's like maybe an off, like a dark navy almost. Such a charming bathroom. If you have plans to remodel your bathroom, consider extending the whole tile into your shower. It definitely in this case gives it the illusion of a larger space. We have also that glass shower panel. Another space by Jet Creative. This is the Granada Residence Duplex. Fell in love with the kitchen. Look at that. Love the cabinetry here. That dining room table. I feel like that could also work as a space to like food prep. I'm not sure how it's used, but if you love this dining room setup, an affordable way to achieve this is to go on Facebook Marketplace or a secondhand place and find a dining room table, like a wooden one, and sand it down. Sand it down to the raw wood or strip it down, what have you. Maybe it's a little bit of work, but it 
it will give you that natural wood look. When you apply a finish on it, consider something like Osmo Oil. That is a product that I typically like to use when trying to achieve a natural wooden look. It's kind of pricey, but it definitely gives it that natural look. Another option is to just leave it unfinished. Let that table, let that wood get stained, get dirty, let it patina over time. There is nothing quite like the real deal. When you start to like create the faux patina on wood, it can get a little sketchy. It, it can be done correctly. I sometimes struggle with it. I love this. Let's play a drinking game. Take a shot every time I say love in this video. Ooh, the architecture, the fireplace, that chair, such an iconic, I cannot remember the name of that chair, but I, I've seen it a couple times at the thrift store in great condition. I remember seeing it once for like $12. I, for some reason, did not get it, but I definitely should have. Ooh. One More Space by Jet Creative. Definitely go give them a follow, check out their website. So this is Dundee Residence. I was drawn to the sofa. It's, I don't know what we can call this, maybe mustard, mustard color, almost. Velvet sofa, this is a space that kind of just tells a story. I love the dining room, the way that it kind of is mixing more traditional elements with more modern, that traditional sideboard is one that I often see again at thrift stores or maybe antique, not really thrift stores, antique shops. You know it gets snatched up real quick at a thrift store. You know, I love thrift shopping. You never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes you can score some really amazing things today. I actually found this vase. Look at that. So this was, I don't know who was this was made by, or, or I do know who was, this was made by Estelle. So thank you to Estelle. Wherever you are, whoever you are, this is beautiful. I don't know how long ago this was made, but it has a little bit of the earthy green. I don't know, I just wanted to show that. <laughs> thank you to Estelle. Estelle, if you made this, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, this bedroom, those bowl wood. Bedside tables are exquisite. You know, I feel like Bird's Burl Wood is having a moment right now. I'm definitely seeing that. Once you know it hits Target, you know it's on trend. So at Target, they're by, I think it's by the McGee collection. They have a lot of Burl Wood um, accents or some furniture, I would say. That's definitely an affordable way if you are looking for that. We even have our plug-in sconces. Plug-in sconces are great for the bathroom bathroom. Plug-in walls contents are great. I actually found a couple great ones on Amazon. I will go ahead and link them down below, but they take up, I feel like, less space on the bedside table, especially if you're like on a tighter um, floor plan. In my next home, I want a home that is old and it has some character because I will, you bet I'm going to play on the architecture. Sometimes you just have to let the architecture speak to you and influence the design. I often see with like a lot of house flips, and you know what? Everyone has their own design style, but sometimes they'll go in and take the old things and replace it with something new because they want the latest trend or such. But you know what? It's to each their own. Everyone has their own thing. But if we can like preserve of the quirky things in a home. That is what makes a home special. Um, of course, on top of like the people living there, but in terms of the architecture and design, like I love that. Oh, that niche right there, prop styled, or maybe that's how it's styled with vintage brass candle holders. Yes, you go. Oh, you get those candle holders. I have quite a big collection, which I'll probably be selling soon, but all right, I can keep, I can keep looking at these for days, but you know what? I gotta go. I have some dinner plans. So thank you so much for sticking around. I really enjoyed this video. Definitely more of a, you know, laid back type of video, but thank you so much for watching. Definitely go check out these designers. I'll go ahead and link all of them below so that you can go explore their portfolios. Go give them a follow. If you wanna see more videos like this, also let me know. But I do do a lot of DIYs here on this channel. So be on the lookout. I have some really fun projects coming up. Also, thanks again to Design Empire for partnering in today's video. Seriously, such a fun game. Game. If you love design, you're gonna enjoy this one. Click on the link in the description so that you can download it. It's free. Again, thank you again so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.